everyone. My name is Ashley Coleman, and I'm the event coordinator for the one and only St. Clair Green Tea Flavored Vodka. We're recording live from Bar 11, which is an extension of Hyde Park Prime Steakhouse located at 569 North High Street, which was voted this year's top steakhouse in Columbus, Ohio. Today, we're gonna show our people at home, as well as the numerous restaurants that have inquired about St. Clair, how to mix some of our delicious martinis and simple cocktail recipes. Let's get to these wonderful cocktails. First cocktail I'm gonna be making for you today is the most simple cocktail, but one that I really truly enjoy because it is simply St. Clair vodka. I'm gonna start with three ounces of St. Clair. And we're gonna garnish with a lemon. Now, at home, if you would like, you can also garnish with a lime, an orange, whatever you like the best, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And that is St. Clair on the rocks. Next on our list is the St. Clair Simply Raspberry Lemonade. This drink is also very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and start with an ounce and a half of the St. Clair vodka. And then, we're gonna add two ounces of Simply Raspberry Lemonade. Now this drink has so much flavor in it, you really do not need a garnish, but if you, if you wanted to, you could add maybe a lemon or a raspberry on it. All right, now we're gonna do our signature St. Clair Mojito. We start with four or five fresh mint leaves. We are gonna add a half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, also a half an ounce of simple syrup, to muddle this with. Okay. Go ahead and muddle your cocktail. Then we're gonna fill it with ice. And this cocktail actually gets two ounces of St. Clair vodka. Go ahead and add that. Once you've added your vodka, we're gonna shake it up in a cocktail shaker and top it with club soda. This drink you can garnish with a lime or with a couple fresh mint leaves if you'd like. And that is the St. Clair Mojito. Okay, now we're gonna get into our delicious martinis. We'll start off with the cherry bottom. We're gonna take a cocktail shaker, fill it with ice, and then we are going to use an ounce and a half of St. Clair vodka. We're gonna use a half ounce of peach schnapps. and then an ounce and a half of pink lemonade. I'm gonna go ahead and shake this. And then we're gonna strain it into a chilled martini glass. Now my favorite part of this drink is the garnish. After you strain, Gonna go ahead and put one single Luxardo cherry in the bottom of your glass. And there is our signature cherry bottom. Now our fresh strawberry peach martini. We're gonna take one whole strawberry, cut in half. We're gonna muddle that with half an ounce of lemon juice and then half an ounce of simple syrup. Once you're done muddling that into the bottom of your cocktail shaker, you're gonna throw some ice on top. This martini is going to get an ounce and a half of St. Clair. And a half an ounce of peach schnapps. So we're gonna shake all of our ingredients together. And 
Then we're gonna strain it into a chilled martini glass. Now because of the muddled strawberries in the drink, this one really doesn't need a garnish. Um, if you wanted, you could add a fresh strawberry on the side of your glass. Okay, now we're gonna do our gold martini. We're gonna start with a chilled martini glass, which I have already rimmed in sugar. I'm gonna take your cocktail shaker and add ice. Now, this drink actually has a lot of different liquors in it. We're gonna start with an ounce of our St. Clair vodka. We're gonna do a half an ounce of Bacardi Gold Rum. A half ounce of Amaretto. Then we're gonna use an ounce and a half of freshly squeezed orange juice. Go ahead and shake our martini. Strain it into our glass. And the best garnish for this drink is an orange peel. This is our gold teeny. All right, now for the signature St. Clair drink. This is our herbal teeny. And go ahead and start with four to five mint leaves. We're gonna go ahead and throw two fresh blackberries in there. We're gonna muddle it with half an ounce of lemon juice and half an ounce of agave nectar. Done muddling. Throw some ice in your cocktail shaker. And this cocktail gets an ounce and a half of St. Clair. And an ounce of St. Germain elderflower liqueur. And then we're gonna strain it into a chilled martini glass. And this cocktail is a lot like the strawberry peach cocktail, and it doesn't really need a garnish because it has the muddled berries and the fresh mint in it. And this is our signature St. Clair cocktail, the herbal teeny. Now for our last cocktail, and my personal favorite, the basil breeze. I'm gonna start with four or five fresh leaves of basil, two slices of fresh cucumber. We're gonna muddle that with half an ounce of lime juice and half an ounce of agave nectar. Go ahead and muddle your cocktail. And then add some ice. And this drink gets an ounce and a half of the St. Clair. And an ounce of St. Germain. Now this can be served in a martini glass. Um, you would just go ahead and shake your cocktail and then strain it into a chilled glass, or the way I like to serve it is in a water glass. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add some ice. Shake our drink. And then we're gonna strain it into our glass. It's topped with club soda. And I like to garnish it with a fresh cucumber.
Now that Brie has shown you how to make some of our amazing cocktails, I hope that you will be able to make your favorite St. Clair cocktail at home. Cheers.